Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited to be part of the YouTube Holiday Inspiration Series for Scrapbook.com. I want to show you how I used these nested dies. They are decorative circles to create this mini album using my Bungalow Lane collection with American Crafts. Basically going to show you how to create it from start to finish. So let's get started. To begin, I've grabbed the nested dies, an alpha die, and a stencil from scrapbook.com. I'm going to focus on these nested dies. So I'm grabbing the largest one first, which is just under six inches across, and one of the floral papers from Bungalow Lane. I'm also grabbing my Spellbinders manual die cut machine, and I'm roughly cutting out around the circle, the scalloped circle, but I noticed that it's wider than six inches. So you put down the largest plate, the cutting plate, and then my paper and the die upside down, but the paper was too large to fit through, so I just trimmed it down, put the cutting plate on top, and then wind it on through, and you are left with a beautiful, intricate, scalloped circle. And some of the little pieces might need just a bit of extra help coming all the way out. So I'm just using a paper piercer and poking out any of the little paper pieces that are holding on and one circle down. Wait, just put punching out that one little last piece. So then I'm grabbing the next circle and a quilt-like paper from Bungalow Lane, roughly trimming it out and then keeping those first two plates, putting the pattern paper that I want showing that side up the plate upside down, the die cutting plate that is, the metal die, and then the cutting plate on top before winding it through the machine or cranking it through the machine. So I'm going to repeat that for all, I believe there are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles, picking kind of the fall-ish pattern papers. This little mini album is going to be about our Thanksgiving from last year. So I just picked and pulled papers that I felt like went with Thanksgiving vibes. So I am I love the colors of Bungalow Lane. I think they go hand in hand with fall and Thanksgiving. And I haven't documented our Thanksgiving last year yet in a mini album or a scrapbook. So thought this was the perfect occasion to do so. And I love making mini albums out of scrapbook.com's nested dies. I've made two more, two previous concentric, concentric shaped mini albums, a tag shaped one, and I believe a circle or a pennant shaped one. I'll have to go back and look, but I am all done die cutting out the concentric circles. And then I cut out backing circles just using a Silhouette Cameo. I measured the distance across from each circle and then made it just slightly larger so that the little frame, the round frame has something to adhere onto. So I'm using liquid glue and dabbing it all around the edge. This process, this part of the process is kind of messy, a little sticky. Um, so I'm picking up some of the excess glue with a paper towel and then gently trying to center the die cut frame, the scallop circle on top in the glue and setting it aside to dry. So I'll do that for all seven layers, cutting out a circle with my Cameo or you can cut it out with a Cricut and adhering the frame piece on top using liquid glue. And yeah, repeating that for all seven layers, adding the liquid glue around the edge, trying to pick up any excess glue just so I don't create as big a mess. So here are all seven layers. So since it's concentric and they're gonna be held together with a binder ring, this is how it'll look. I wanna add some machine stitching details. So I'm using my brother's sewing machine and varying the width of a zigzag stitch. And I'm going to zigzag stitch all around the layers all seven circles. So here's what they look like with machine stitching and I just love that handmade look and the extra texture that it adds. Now to connect all the album pages together, I need to 
make a hole for the binder ring to go through, the loose leaf binder ring. So I'm using one as a template, placing it on top of the next layer, and then just repunching the hole through using a standard size office supply hole punch. So now all seven circles have the hole in the same spot at the top, and that's where I will add them onto a binder ring at the end. I love adding a little pop of color, and so I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers Hole Reinforcer and this pattern paper from Bungalow Lane with all of the different squares of patterns to punch 14 hole reinforcers. Since there are seven pagers, pagers, seven pages and a hole, I wanna have a hole reinforcer on the front and back of each page, that is 14 little hole reinforcers. And again, it just has the double duty of reinforcing the hole so it stands up through wear and tear and looking through it. And then I also, again, love the pop of color that it adds and just anytime I can add pattern paper to a project, I am all about that. Pattern paper is my very favorite scrapbook supply. So attaching a hole reinforcer to all seven layers. And then I went ahead and printed round photos and cut them out leaving a white border so that the photos can pop out from the background. The papers can be kind of busy so I think by having a white frame around them it just helps set them apart. So now I'm going to start adding the photos to the layers. The first two layers I think are just a bit too small for photos. I'll add a title and embellishments. So then I'm going to start adding photos on the third page and every page after that. So page three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm using tiny foam squares to attach the photos in place for dimension. You can have quite a bit of dimension on these pages since they'll be connected with a binder ring. So you can add the thicker embellishments like chipboard and foam squares. I want to have two photos on this back page. So I scored across the top of this round photo since it's just kind of white space up there at the top and then by having it scored right there it lifts up and it's like a little photo flap. Time to embellish. So the title is going to be Thanksgiving so one of the foam phrase stickers says thank you so I just cut the thank part off and added an S. These are some mini foam thickers from my whimsical collection a long time ago. Uh, you could also just use regular alphabet stickers to say Thanksgiving and that's that's the first page. So I'm going through Bungalow Lane and finding stickers and icons, ephemera, anything that goes along with Thanksgiving. So this sentiment sticker says eat, drink, and be cozy, which is perfect for Thanksgiving. So I trimmed it into three pieces and layered them down that second, second tag. Well, it's the first tag, the back of the first tag. Layering up some leaves, a chipboard leaf sticker, one of the crepe paper leaf stickers, and then in all the comforts of home on the back of that second page. Underneath this photo, it was adhered, but I gently lifted it off and I'm putting a die cut underneath. I love how those floral and leaves peek out from the edges. And then I'll put the photo back on top. And if there's any photo part or any part covering up the hole, I'll just go ahead and re-punch the hole. On to the next page, home sweet home. We had a progressive Thanksgiving dinner. This was my mother-in-law's dream. So she had her, her son's family from Utah drove over. And then there are actually three Evans families that live within 20 minutes, 20 minutes of each other. So we had, we had uh, salads and appetizers at my in-law's house. And then we had the main Thanksgiving course at my brother and sister-in-law's house. And then we had dessert at our house. So it was fun to go three places for Thanksgiving. So again, just picking and pulling things that go along with Thanksgiving. Remember this and made with love because all of the food is made with love. On to the next page. So I framed a photo with a chipboard wreath and some of the wreath was partially covering the hole, so again, I'm just going to use the hole, bu hole punch to repunch it. So here's another instance where handmade with love works, although I am going to cover that with journaling eventually. So the dessert page gets its own full, full page, full photo. And then here is our little family, and we were over at Jane Haley's house, so I thought the sentiment welcome would work because it wasn't at 
our house, it was their house, and they welcomed us with open arms and uh, yummy food. So on the center of the dessert photo, I'm adding a thankful sticker. There is a whole page of sentiment stickers in the eight page sticker book, and a lot of them work really well with Thanksgiving. Around this photo, I'm adding chipboard semicircles so it creates a scalloped edge, and they're all different colors, all different patterns, just goes along with all things Bungalow Lane. Uh, I thought about taking off that handmade with love sentiment and putting houses, three houses. These are chipboard stickers and I peeled off the top layer so they're just not as thick. But in the end, I moved the houses onto the one of the biggest pages and kept the handmade with love there. But I did cover it up with journaling, like I said. So thought about adding two hearts, but I just kept one just more pleasing to the eye, and here we go. So I added a heart by this thankful. I just really wanted the dessert page to stand out and not have too much embellishing because dessert's the best part, right? That's, I, I just love the dessert part of Thanksgiving and pies, so. Uh, we went to three homes, so I found two chipboard house stickers. The last one will go on the back of this photo flap, and there's a die cut ephemera die cut that says home, and I added two thickers, a three and an S, so it says three homes. And then on the white space of this photo, just layering some floral die cuts, and I'll top them with chipboard stickers, and that'll finish up that page. I love how there are large and small embellishments all throughout Bungalow Lane, so you could use them on larger layouts, but then also mini albums. On the back, I just added a Home Sweet Home sticker because we went to three Home Sweet Homes and it was just a lovely, a lovely Thanksgiving. I'm adding all of the pages onto a yellow binder ring and topping it off with a heart charm, also from Bungalow Lane. So opening it up and just sliding on the heart charm, the perfect finishing touch. So let's flip through the album, you can see the finishing touches. I added a couple things here and there, like this heart sticker right on front, added some of the puffy button stickers throughout the entire album, as well as sentiment stickers that I thought went along. This layered heart and button sticker, oh, and a bird paper clip. So just little teeny tiny things, perfect finishing touches. You can always find a spot to add a teeny tiny heart or those little button stickers throughout the album since they're so tiny. Here's the three homes, added a couple things to the flowers, and I die cut 2020 numbers from that die set that I showed at the beginning and stitched Thanksgiving thickers around the curve of that last photo. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you are inspired to pick up this nested circles die cuts and use Bungalow Lane to document your Thanksgiving memories. Thank you so much. Have a great day.